Mga kababayan, it saddens me deeply to hear how the Aquino regime, in its desperation to hold on to power, is acting like the Marcos regime in preventing the Filipino people in protesting and speaking their minds against an uncaring, corrupt government of the Aquino regime. Last time I checked, mga kababayan, our beloved nation was built upon the ideals of democracy. A nation where people have a direct say in the country's affairs without fear of retaliation and threat from its own government. Mga kababayan, do not let those in power trick you again in believing in their lies, in their empty promises, and in their empty words. We, as the people of this country, can no longer depend on our government to defend our rights and our well-being as citizens of our beloved nation. For as you can see, mga kababayan, those in power are busy only looking after their own interest. They do not care what happened to you, the people. They do not care what happened to your children. They don't care about your future. And most importantly of them all, they have already stolen your children's future. Please, mga kababayan, gather enough strength to keep the fight going. Don't let those in power threaten you to stop in seeking the truth and speaking the truth. Fight not only for yourself, but for the future of your children and their children to come. Always remember, mga kababayan, that this fight to oust this government and those who are in power is a fight not for a single cause, but a fight for many causes. We are fighting for justice for those fallen 44 SAF men who lost their lives so that we the rest of us in this country of ours can live in peace we are fighting for justice for those victims of Hacienda Luisita who lost their lives trying for their rights to reclaim the land that they tilled for so many years. We are also fighting for the countless victims of political assassination and political imprisonment by those who are hunger for power and wealth and they are willing to do everything and anything to get it. We are also fighting, mga kababayan, for the countless victims of Yolanda who lost their lives because of the incompetent government that we have. A government that wasn't able to provide proper aid during a time of distress. Their incompetency cannot be hidden. For even the world, the United Nation, recognizes their corruption, their incompetency, their evil deeds, and their hunger for wealth that they were even willing to steal from the victims of Yolanda. Let us not forget what Binai tried to do. 
mga kababayan. Do not let those in power threaten you, silence you, cause you to be inactive, cause you to be voiceless, cause you to be without strength because they are using the laws of the land to instill fear in those who would dare speak their mind for the truth. Remember mga kababayan, those who seek the truth shall find it. Those who speak the truth shall be free from the oppression of this government of ours. What good is a government that cannot even supply continuous electrical power to its people? What good is a government that cannot even supply a continuous source of fresh water for the people? What good is a government that cannot do its job competently? What good is a leader that cannot even lead competently? Mga kababayan, in a democratic nation, the people has the right to speak their mind. In a democratic nation, the people has the right to protest and voice their concern. No government, not even the government of the Aquino regime, has the right to prevent the people to voice out their concerns. To prevent the people from seeking the right for free speech. Remember mga kababayan, what our great hero Andres Bonapacio once said, Aling pag-ibig pa ang hihigit kaya sa pagkadalisay at pagkadakila gaya ng pag-ibig sa tinubuang lupa. Aling pag-ibig pa Wala nang ang wala, mga kababayan. In this time, in our country's history, this word rings very true. Remember, mga kababayan, your love for your country, your love for the truth, your yearning for a better future for yourselves and for your children, will give you the strength to keep moving, will give you the strength to keep fighting, will give you the strength to oust this government who dares use force the law to threaten the people, to silence the people in seeking a better future for themselves. Long live the revolution that will one day, and I hope soon, to free our nation from the Aquino regime and those people who sit in the Senate pretending to be our friends, pretending to be the friends of the people, when in reality they are only friends to the fattening of their pocket from the wealth that they steal sa kaban ng bayan.